Ghidorah here is from the film Godzilla King of the Monsters in which it acts as the main antagonist and fights against Godzilla for, as the title states, King of the Monsters. Go figure. And if you've seen my previous video from a while back, the SH Monsters iteration was impressive. Back in the day before all the calamity that would beset this divided society we live today. But Hyatt Toys with their previous iterations of the Toho Big 3 and Harambe has this time released their own iteration of the false king itself. So let's see if Ghidorah lives up to the Hyatt Toys godlike reputation and whether it comes out on top of the Monster Arts version from five years ago. Damn, I'm old. When looking not at the head, but all three heads, we know we got something special here. As there is Ichi, Ni, and Kevin. What the fuck? As unlike Bandai with their short snout western dragon design, Hyatt Toys had stuck to screen accuracy and decided to depict the head of an elongated Ching Chow dragon as portrayed through the elongated snout, the serpentine hairpiece, and the smaller eyes, sticking to ancient Chinese traditions of world domination. I can hear my social credit score committing oh jump king. Oh my god! This is in addition to the separate colors organically embedded onto the head rather than the singular one previously seen. And unlike the Monstars Ghidorah that could only open up for a slight lick, the Hyatt Toys version can open up for a full on <laughs> Even the inner mouth is intricately sculpted with the serpent tongue, carnivorous teeth, and the organically painted innards. But the true glory lies in the fact that this was just me, as the other two have variations that differentiate themselves as seen in the film, as Ichi possesses an alpha male expression with that ferocity towards hostile kaijus alongside the more open strands, while Kevin as the beta male he is possesses a more curious and timid expression as portrayed through the smaller eyebrows, the less aggressive snow, and the tucked in strands, making Ghidorah as a whole the peak of evolution. And as iconic are the heads, there are the necks to support such brains, minus Kevin, as not only are they long and big, wait, that sounded wrong. They are also intricately detailed with the front being composed of various scales that are colored in white, while the rest of the necks differentiate themselves through not just the yellow and brown finish, but the fact that the rough, coarse, and irritating skin texture is applied to not only the neck, but the rest of the body, highlighting the lengths Hyatt Toys is willing to go, unlike a particular company. And there are the dual rows of spikes on the rear of the neck that symbolize Ni's Giga Chat status, with both Ichi and Kevin only having in possession a single row. Moving down to the core, unlike the skinny model-like structure as seen in the Monster Arts, Hyatt Toys abided to screen accuracy in which they have succeeded in replicating Ghidorah's thick and muscular body, which not only is it large compared to the likes of smaller kaijus and mobile suits, but possess enough testosterone to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big G. This is in addition to the thick legs that not only allows Ghidorah to be a threat on the surface, also draws in the jealous eyes of skinny anime waifus. Seriously though, it's thick. But a slight, and I mean slight, disappointing factor is that the ratchet joint on the legs can be seen that sort of draws out the authenticity of the figure. But then again, just a slight gripe. The feet are also a beauty onto themselves as not only are they massive, but can be used to trample over lesser beings, mermaids included. And we can't forget about the tails as Ghidorah, unlike your typical kaiju which possesses a single tail, has in possession instead a pair, further highlighting its extraterrestrial origins. Oh, if you don't know by now, our favorite three-headed dragon here is an alien, which explains what kind of couple Godzilla and Mothra are when facing Ghidorah. Build that wall! And similar to the neck, the tail possesses an almost identical color scheme with the rough skin on top and the soft skin situated at the bottom, in addition to the dual rows of spikes. But the most remarkable aspect regarding the tails are the spikes at the very end, which makes the tail look like a mace that could be used to pummel hostiles, but hasn't been seen being used. So they're more or less there for show. And it's like I forgot about something. Oh! 
and the wings are a completely different breed onto themselves as not only are they enormous that it towers over most kaijus, but they also possess, just like the rest of the body, a splendid paint job with a yellow and brown mix being organically implemented. Alongside the lightning like patterns embedded on, far cry from what was seen on the previous release of Ghidorah. But maybe the most innovative aspect regarding the wings is that the hired toys, rather than giving the consumers a dull, heavy, and singular plastic piece, really spectacular, spared no expense. As the wings possess actual joints that allow the wings to move and bend as they like. Alongside the interconnected fibers being able to be dislocated, allowing the wings to fold and be successful in portraying when Ghidorah is engaging in surface to surface combat but also makes Ghidorah compact, which is a big plus when you have this many figures, but so little space. So, when looking at what Ghidorah is accompanied by, this is it. Do you remember the stand accompanied by Rodan? Because we get three of these. There is this chest stand that just by the name you place on the boobas <laughs> and supports the rest of the body. Kind of. Then there's this pair of wing stands that look and act similar to the Monstars variant, where you place below the wings in order to portray Ghidorah when it's showing off its intimidation display with its wings all wrapped up. But do you want to see the most impressive part? Unlike the Monstars, which without the stand fails as an independent figure, the high toys with its twin tails acting as support stands, the thick leg structures acting as little legs, and the strong joints on the wings, enables Ghidorah to act as the alpha titan it is and stand proud looming over both man and kaijus alike. When observing the enormous scale that Ghidorah stands at, Ghidorah alongside the Monstars variant is the biggest kaiju in my possession and towers over all beings symbolizing a true God. Probably due to the fact that Ghidorah stands at roughly 35 centimeters or 14 inches tall. Here's Ghidorah next to Gumpla, Player Toys, SHV Gods, Figma, and Gojira, Godzilla, 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 and Ghidorah. You're a bloody Godzilla addict, you know that? Well, you either die a married man with a family, or see yourself become a Godzilla addict. I chose the latter. When observing Ghidorah's range of posability, the SH Monstars iteration besides the neck was... Oh my god! So, let's see whether the Hyatt Toys version surpasses its competitor. The head movement for Kaju is fine. The neck being composed of 9 pieces limits the movements and is not even comparable to the movement shown by the monster arts. While there is a torso joint, it hardly does anything. I already talked about the wing movement. Leg movement here makes Godzilla look like a ballerina. Knee movement is non-existent. My new ankle movement. And even though the 10 piece tail has potential, let me tell you, potential and results are very different. So, when it comes to articulation, Dora is more bricked up than a hentai protagonist. So, what do I think about its figure? The Hyatt Toys Ghidorah is a tremendous feat regarding the field of posable kaijus as Hyatt Toys was successfully able to replicate the immense size alongside the perfect implementation of the various paint jobs without sacrificing screen accuracy, which is more than I can say about a particular figure. But not all is perfect as the accessory department lacks a particular effect alongside the stiff range of movement that might deter certain folks from purchasing this figure. But considering the godlike achievements, the faults can do only so much to bring this figure down, especially considering that price. In doing so, I'm gonna give the Hyatt Toys King Ghidorah a ranking of an A+.